Howdy, friend. Get ready to meet Gradient Billable. I'm looking forward to guiding you through the solution. Let's start by creating a new account. You can use the SSO sign-in method with Microsoft or Google, or an email with a magic link. Let's go ahead and sign in using Microsoft. After you authenticate, it will ask you to provide your name, company name, and country. Then select your PSA. In this case, let's choose Datto Autotask. You'll see some simple steps to get an API user created to connect with Gradient. We happen to have an API user ready to go. Gradient is designed to use the principle of least privilege access concerning your data. We will only ask you to configure API access for the areas of your PSA that we need, and nothing else. Once we input the API information, we'll click Save and Test. Great! Everything looks good here. Let's keep going. After a quick synchronization of data, we are ready to get started. Say hello to Billable. First, I'll cover what is offered with Billable Basic, our free plan, which is accessible to anyone connecting with the PSA we support. Billable provides a new way of reviewing and approving recurring service and product usage, and then automatically writing those changes directly to your PSA's contracts and agreements. Instead of tedious navigation through screens and tabs for accounts, then contracts, then services, Billable organizes your recurring services through a series of cards for each active contract associated with it. So, let's pretend we're ready to review service usage for next month's invoicing. Let's start with the first service. Hovering over any card, we see we can either choose Adjust or No Change. Click No Change if the quantity isn't changing this billing period. It will remove the card from your view until the next billing period, basically checking it off the list for you. We know how easy it is to lose your place during monthly reconciliation, and you might find yourself having to backtrack to ensure you haven't missed anything. Billable helps you keep track of what you've already verified and what you haven't. Let's try updating the quantity of this service by clicking Adjust. Now you can update the quantity here and click Update. But before we do, let's see what's happening exactly. Shown here is the contract in our PSA with this service. Now let's go ahead and say we need to increase this by 5 units, effective the first of next month. We'll change the quantity and click Update. You'll see here, the change has been reflected instantly in the PSA, ready for invoicing. It will also remove this item from the list of cards, indicating it has been reviewed this billing cycle. Additionally, you can multi-select cards and approve them with no changes all at once. Each service item also shows the profit and revenue recognized across all contracts or agreements for that service, so you can see what's truly moving the needle for your business. All of this is offered through Billable Basic for free, but you haven't seen anything yet. The real power comes with Billable Pro and the CSV Profile feature. The CSV Profile feature allows users to create and save CSV profiles that can be used repeatedly. It's designed to provide maximum flexibility with vendor usage exports, reports from your RMM, or even custom CSVs created yourself. Let's create one now. First, we'll drag and drop a CSV to get started. and we'll create a new CSV import profile. Let's give the profile a name and assign it to a vendor. To start, we'll need to map three gradient fields, the account name, the service name, and the quantity. Just drag and drop the fields on the left to the corresponding fields from your import file on the right. We've populated sample data from those fields to help you quickly identify which ones you should use.
Next, let's map your accounts. To help you with this, we've auto-mapped any account names that match exactly. You'll have to map any remaining accounts that we might have missed, but you can select the Hide Mapped toggle to view the remaining unmapped accounts. You can use the filter bar to find them, or click the filter icon to do a partial search and make it even easier. After we've mapped the final few accounts, we can move on to the next step. Finally, we'll need to map the services that will get the updated quantities. Your CSV file can contain one or more services to update. Just use the filter icon, drag and drop, and continue when you're ready. Finally, click Save Profile and Import. And we're done. Let's check the results. As you can see, the cards for imported service quantities have changed to represent two different numbers. The first number represents the current contract quantity reflected in your PSA, while the second represents the new quantity imported with your CSV. You can still adjust this, or click Reconcile, and we'll write this change back to your PSA instantly. You'll also notice the profit and revenue line will also show the change represented. As with before, you can select multiple cards and approve them all at once. Finally, let's check out the PSA Configuration page. The PSA Configuration page contains your connection settings and tracks synchronization details, including the total number of records synchronized and the last date of synchronization. Data synchronization occurs weekly, but you can manually trigger it using the Sync Now button. You can also update your API authentication credentials to connect with a different account or update the details. We hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of Gradient Billable. Now that you've seen how easy it should be, are you ready to stop reconciling like it's 1999?